Wolf Spain. What's going on, man? Uh, you yourself so I don't mess myself up here. Oh, Wolf Spain, the South Texas superhero, guys. Peace. Send the love out there to everybody in Texas and yeah. everywhere else. To all your followers. What is your actual name? John Guerra. And creator. he's the one who created Wolf Spain, right? Definitely. Yeah, I see this man regularly all the time. Uh, you got to see his get up. It's, if you can show some of the uh, artwork, it's an awesome comic. He's actually gifted me one of the. Let me get this uh, out of the plastic so you comics. can see. Oh, yeah. And that's actually, that's actually, that's the actually you, there, correct? So and come. That's uh, actually you, correct? Yes, me and my daughter. Ooh, oh, sorry. You have a very yeah, beautiful daughter as well. Thank you. It's a bit of a that looks so right out of the comic scene. I'm sorry, you can't get any more uh, a realistic. I mean, it looks like it's out of a movie. Yes, sir. I like if they tried that. to do Thank a representation you. of your comic. Yes, sir. And we're actually filming next month our first short film in San Antonio, Texas by No Sleep Films. And uh, on the 18th, we begin uh, uh, filming. So it's awesome. going to be amazing. We awesome. can't wait to get that out there for everybody to see all, all over the world. Oh, most certainly. I would want to watch. I would love to see that video. Definitely. Make sure you link it to me. I know you're friends with me on Facebook. I will. Link yes. me a way to get a hold of it or, or uh, to view it. Yes, sir. Definitely. Yeah, we wanted to definitely uh, since it's, this is probably the only major comic book hero from uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. Yeah. Texas. The I only. wanted to definitely uh, highlight you in our little video of what's going on at Rome's College this year. Oh, appreciate it. Because a few that. people uh, got mad at me last year because all I did. They wanted to see some of Rome's gone as what you know, show the fighting from the Society of Creative Anachronism booth and so on, and a couple of little things like that. Like, what else went on? So now we get to know. Great, great. I'm glad you stopped by as a pleasure. Oh, anytime. Pleasure I told you, you I stopped by. Thank you Sorry so much. Sorry if I'm a little out of it right now, but oh. I just got through taking head blows because we were letting people try out the swords and see what it felt like to hit us in the head. Nice. It was Waylon's great idea. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I've been in a boxing match. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. But thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for stopping by. No problem. Love you guys. All right. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, he's, he's always entertaining. And I'm sorry, the visuals and the comics and stuff that he does are spectacular. <laughs> Even if you're not from South Texas, you'd probably enjoy that if you could hold it. They're trying to make it more and more available uh, in all comic shops everywhere, I believe. I know, here it's here it's here. Here. And I know it's not four because I'm not getting hit in the head again. Right <laughs> all right. Yeah, and it's, it's the, uh, base metal and the Oh, you do artwork, huh? Yeah. Oh, Is it the crow, or? Yeah. Oh, oh okay, awesome. It's nice. Sorry, I didn't know I uh, will edit stuff out. I'm just walking around seeing a few of my friends. But I'm on a YouTube channel, and I was just showing the highlights here. Mostly I do ancient arms and armor. If you want to mind your artwork being shown, I'll show the artwork. No, feel free. What was your name, sir? Uh, James O'Barr. James O'Barr. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll just put you on there if people want to see this real quick. Okay. Uh, uh, you. Unless you have something really good to say about it, I want to say it, you can go right ahead. Nah. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just put it on there and let people see it. If they're interested, then they'll probably find you at a convention and yeah. get some artwork off you. I love the pro. Brandon Lee was awesome. He was a horrible loss, but this is makes it look like I mean you're seeing the fantasy version of the crow and all his. Uh, well, I I uh, created it, so. So you created actual crow. Yeah. I did not know that, and I am very okay. very sorry. Yeah. But this this is the actual creator of the crow, uh, and I feel really bad not knowing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I'm, I'm a YouTube channel yeah. person that. Not aware of everything. I'm mostly well, into most HEMA and was, ancient arms. Most people don't know it was based on a comic first. Well, I knew that. I did know that. I didn't know you were the actual person who created the pro, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry. I forgive me. I humble myself. It's an excellent character. I mean, you can't. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. I know it from the movie, but I have seen a few of the comics. I didn't. I was not aware you were the actual person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Absolutely. Do you have any other comics or anything coming out at the current time? Or uh, anything you'd like to promo? Nah, probably not until next year. More Crow, correct? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, there you go, folks. If you want the Crow, this is the gentleman that draws it. We actually got to see it. And I am very sorry for it not knowing no. who was it. 
I, I should have figured by looking at the uh, the artwork and how beautiful it is. Oh, my, my sign fell down. So. Oh, <laughs> I would have known when I walked up, yeah. and I apologize, sir. See what else we have. We have more fancy blades over here. Yeah, they did have a couple hand forged katanas, but just a very small section of them. Oh, we might go look at those real quick. I don't know where the Corpus Christi Joker is. Or I think he said he's upstairs. Uh, there's another area upstairs as well. We have some claymores and stuff. This is all stuff I probably would not test just on my channel unless you all want to see stuff like this testing, which I've said that before. I've tested to see yeah. that. But I still, I tell you, I will be in full armor doing so. Yep. I'm not expecting these places. There's a video I've seen. Beautiful blades if you just want something to hang on the wall and carry on. There's a video I've seen by the Zombie Go Boom people in which they tested a mall katana against a water bottle and it bent at about a 90 degree angle. Oh, these are the uh, reenactment plates that are falling. That's quite interesting for people in the water bottle. Yeah, I believe they had a couple Game of Thrones ones. I don't know if they still have them now, but. Mm, that would have, that would get a lot of people's interest. But let's go and see what else we can find. Let's go look okay. at the cars and stuff. Let's see what's stuff this way. Maybe he's this way. Yes. One of my, I mean, I like the idea of the crow. You know? Hi there, how are you guys doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I like it. Yeah, I, we're both Viking like Scandinavian, Norse. Yeah. Norse somewhere. Who do you hail under? I see a mule in there. I love a lot. Oh, exactly. I have a mule in there as well. We and follow the old guys. Yep. But are you part of them? Yeah, yeah, we're part of the society crew of Nathan. As a matter of fact, I just got people in my head beat in. I and saw I, that. And I'll over properly introduce myself. I am Thran. Hi. I'm the Thane Thran YouTube channel. Okay. And we're going around filming the highlights. Now ask who you are, man. I am a guest host. My name is Casey. Casey? Caselyn. Casey. Casey. Uh, what do you do? I help escort the guests around and keep them on schedule. Also, I am the extra that helps keep their autographs and everything together so that they can just relax and focus on having fun at the con. Oh, cool, cool. And what is all this in front of you? This, stuff? this right here are scenes from both the Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 that was directed by Rob Zombie. And this is the beautiful and famous Scout Taylor. She's the little sister that survived the brutal onslaught and attacks from Tyler Maine, who was Michael Myers. Also, awesome. Sabretooth, the good one. All right. And he was also a Jackson Troy. Little does a lot of people know he was also in Joe Dirt. So. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So but, apparently, whoever's supposed to be here is not here. Oh, she went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. We can come back and see her in a moment. Then. Yeah, she'll be right back. Well, I was gonna say, how do we pr procure your services? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you ask Daniel. You're very you beautiful, my lady. Um, she's yeah. eating for you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hello. We got Miss Hollywood here. Uh, is it all right to have you on a video showing highlights from me? Yeah, I'm, I'm Thran from the Thane Thran YouTube channel. Awesome. And I wasn't aware, I'm not aware what the booths are, so I've oh. embarrassed myself with the creator of the crow. Oh. I didn't know that's who he actually uh, was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was a man just doing artwork with the crow, raving oh. about how great his artwork is, and he's on oh. So I already feel bad, so if oh, you want to no. introduce yourself so I don't butcher it. Hi, I'm Scout Compton. <clears throat> Hi. You got to work with Rob Zombie? I did, I did get to work with Rob. He's amazing. He's oh, yeah. a very talented, talented man. Yeah. yeah, me wife, Caddy, yeah. uh, would love to have met him. She wanted to meet him when he came down here for his signing of, uh, what was it, uh, the book. I'm trying to remember the name of the book. Oh, uh, it's uh, as well. They have a movie, too. Yeah. Uh, Devil Rejects? Not Devil's Rejects. Book? It was... Uh, Corpses, maybe? Was it Salem? Uh, Salem? Lords of Salem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he came down to Half Price Books at Lords of Salem, and oh, he did awesome. not make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's very rare to We listen to, to Rob Zombie all the time. Oh, I do too. Because okay. she has like a whole uh, little thumb drive to stick in the yeah. radio and listen to Rob Zombie. Well, Zom your wife has She's got great everything taste. he ever did, every mix. Yeah, yeah, she has great taste. That's good. But no, that is awesome to actually Yeah, very good. Is there nice anything you're doing in the future you want to promote or anything like that? Um, I have a movie out called Ghost House right now. Um, I am in the works of, yes. Ghost House, that's what you were just telling me about? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the I'm works honest, of selling my a TV show. I've been hit in the head quite a few times because we have this interactive thing after we fight. Oh, yeah? And we let people smack us in the head. If you want to come by and smack oh us God, in the head in a little really? bit, you probably He's can. the one that, they were the ones that were fighting. We were fighting an honor. Oh, I saw weapons. that you guys were fighting. Did it would be an like honor to have that? you smack me in the head. Oh, yeah. Head, so here, I've got a weapon. That did not hurt. Oh, no, not without the joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm almost hurt. tempted to do it. Does well, that hurt? A little bit. Yeah. 
at oh least some God. nice bruises, but the worst injury I've seen is like a sprained ankle. So. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. my God. Well, it, when we get hit in the head, so being like a boxing injury, you know, we get hit directly in the head, yeah. you get that kind of jar in the brain a little bit, but it's mostly that? neck thing. Do you guys do that here in Corpus yeah, Christi? Like you host shows? There is a local group earlier. here. We're going to be fighting right here at that booth in front of you. Oh, awesome. Come on, check it out. I did see it. I did see it a little bit. I heard it. Awesome. When, yeah, when are you guys doing your next fight? fight? The yeah, next fight is at 3 today, maybe okay. a little bit late, but then if you see Rob Zombie again, which I'm sure you will tell him that we said hi. Uh, Brand no. from the YouTube, uh -huh. the YouTube channel. Awesome. If you're interested and you want to know about other stuff, um, Tyler's got that sheet right there. If you sign up with your email and your first name, I can do that. Right I there, will. His promotion company sends out alerts when they're doing it. I will do that. Or I put it right here? Yeah. You can get a free bracelet with it too. I may not I can attest for that as well. Especially those noobs doing it. I mean, they, uh, there they swing it like baseball bats and stuff, and they're allowed to, but we're not allowed to do that. There was a couple of them that uh, were able to generate some really good power and good shots. In, in, in some of it, I mean, I want to go back and look at the video. Uh, I should do both. I'm going to put my name on here two times because I have a different email address. It's probably that. I normally don't see the cons, so this is great walking around. And I'm like, this was like, it'd been different if, you know, like, nothing happened. Not okay. There we go, I got it on there. And Michael Myers is always one of my favorite characters, the death mind. Exactly. They cannot die. Exactly. My friend would be so jealous right now. <laughs> oh yeah, and we got to meet her. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, pleasure meeting. Nice Thanks meeting you as well. To sign up. Did we just? Bye, have well, they, they'll contact me, right? They, they're going to send you the emails. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. blade that is from a uh, uh, just a hardware shop like a lot of times you see in the grade B movies I figured I would try it on a roll of wet newspaper and uh, this is what we got it was able to cut through it I've been told these won't cut through a human arm or leg but uh, maybe they will we got a little tearing on the back this is real tearing this isn't just a paper one layer tearing this is several so this is not ideal as like the highest quality blade but after a little bit of sharpness it was able to cut the newspaper, so I'm rather impressed. Maybe it was just the essence of Michael Myers. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little episode where we got to interview uh, uh, Scout Taylor Compton and uh, Barbell.